everyone, we are the Lecture Field. Today, you will witness our science investigatory project, which is entitled Useless Feelings No More. Stay tuned and watch our project making. In experimenting, Collection of equipments and materials is the most significant. With that, the first step of the project making is to collect the needed materials that can be found at home. Check out the materials used in the description box. Through the researcher's effort, it is a zero-cost project. Next is the preparation of the banana sludge. Chop the banana peels first. The team used three varieties of bananas, locally known as lakatan, latundan, and cardaba or saba. to mix every banana peel with water creating a mixture called slurry. amount of mixture for every banana were put inside the three containers. The greater the amount of banana sludge, the better. Wait until the yellowish transparent mixture will turn black. The coloration change from yellow to black serve as the indicator that the slurry or banana sludge is ready for use.
while waiting for the banana sludge, make a two-chamber microbial fuel cell. Make a hole in the lids of the containers for the copper wires on the aluminum mesh to stick out of. This for the positive and negative wires to go through. Form other holes in the lid of the cathodic chamber for air to pass through. Use two circular plastic containers and make a hole on one side of each container. Make sure that every hole is large enough for the pipe to fit in. These chambers will represent the anodic and cathodic chamber. This will be connected through a PVC pipe acting as the proton exchange membrane or salt bridge. The size of the holes will depend on the size of the PVC pipe to be used. Also, drilling and boring tools are better and easier to make the holes. Copper wire inside the folded aluminum mesh with the wire coming out from one end. Provide two sets of the setup for every chamber. Now we will be making the salt bridge. Dissolve salt in water. For your information, there are many ways to construct a salt bridge, such as soaking a piece of cotton in a sodium sulfate solution and place one end in each container. Add and sweeten gelatin to the solution for it to solidify. Heat the solution for some time and put it in the PVC pipe. Down, then use it to connect the two chambers. To build the experimental setup, put the banana sludge in the anodic chamber while top water in the cathodic chamber of the microbial fuel cell. Close the containers using the lids. Utilize a multimeter to measure the current and voltage of the microbial fuel cell setup. This is done by placing the red probe of the multimeter to the copper wire of the cathodic chamber, the one with water while the black probe for the anodic chamber, the one with the banana sludge. Use alligator clips to make a temporary connection between the two wars. I hope you are doing fine these days. Congratulations if you reached this part of the video. Anyways, let me end this with a speech. Our world is facing an exponentially growing demand for energy that results the continuous use of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels generate carbon dioxide, giving rise to global warming. Besides, waste management remains a great obstruction to different sectors of the society. However, with the use of microbial fuel cells or MFC, there is a great possibility that we can solve these problems. For your information, MFC is a device that is capable of producing electricity from respiring microbes. It is a sustainable source of renewable energy. 
Not only can we produce electricity, but we can also lessen fruit waste. The Electric Peel Science Diversificatory Project is all about generating electricity from banana peel waste using microbial fuel cells. Maybe you're confused right now, like, how is it even possible? Well, let's talk about what happened during our project making. So, MFC was composed of two chambers, namely the anaerobic anode and aerobic cathode. In anodic chamber! Some microbes decided and metabolized organic compounds, resulting to the production of electrons and protons. Electrons! Electrons from the anode move to the cathode compartment through an electrical circuit. Meanwhile, the protons move to the other chamber with the help of a proton exchange membrane or the soap bridge. The reduction occurred in the cathodic chamber to form water. The end product of this setup was electricity. So that was our science of the project. This produces no harmful end products. And the theory of use are found at home. It's unique and economical. That's all. Thank you so much for watching.